All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Sideboard MTG, and it's time for Sultai Midrange. Hope you guys are ready for this. It's a great list, and versions of this list have been popping up a lot here lately. Uh, did I build this list? No, I tweaked it and made it my own, if, if you will, but no, I didn't build the backbone of this list. Either way, we're going to be playing this uh, Wild Growth Walker with a ton of Explore. And the deck's a lot of fun. I've, I've got some test games in with it. It's a lot of fun and extremely powerful. So I hope you guys like it. If you do, give it that thumbs up. And if you don't, I guess give it that thumbs down. And if you like the content in general, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As always, if you want the cards, Mana Traders has got you covered. And if you want to sign up for Mana Traders to start renting cards so you can test on MTGO with any deck, um, the link is in the description box below where you can save 15% on your first three months. What's up, everyone? How you doing? Wooly or Wu Young, thank you for subscribing right off the bat. One subscriber. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Rocker, you're not late tonight, sir. What's up, Jan, Zaxdillo, Jizza, Justin Clay, Jareth Miles, Sisk Dantes. Man, we've got a bunch of people here in chat. Let me, uh, let me scroll back up here and see if I can pull some more names. Madness, how you doing, sir? Man, you guys have been chatting for a while here. Wow, what's going on? What's up, James Carr? How you doing, buddy? Um, yeah, man, Jizza and Clay, and Justin Clay, and man, you guys are just chatting it up. Uh, Ramo's in the house. How you doing, Ramo? Zaxadil, did I say something about Zaxadil? Uh -huh. Um, Jareth Miles messaged me directly before the, uh, um, the, the, um, uh, stream, and he's like, this looks good. This is not my Sultai Reanimator. This is not my Sultai Reanimator list. I'm still working on that. It, that list has a lot more big bodies in it. It has a little bit more reanimator type, um, you know, spells in it and stuff like that. A couple more copies of Liliana, but I am a big fan of reanimator, so I did throw a couple copies of uh, some cards that I thought would be a little bit of fun. This is uh, more of a mid-range Hadana's Climb the Scarab God deck. Um, if any deck was a the Scarab God deck, I think that any deck running multiple copies of Blossoming Defense is exactly where you want to be. What do you mean, no removal? Why do you need removal when, like, on turn three, we're going to have nine power? They're the ones that need removal. Um, we've got some removal. Um, you know, we can, you know, just hostage taker, their big dude, and play it. And we've got blossoming defense to protect our hostage takers. If we look into the sideboard, we've got some removal there. I mean, we've got the, you know, life link here so that we can gain a little bit of life off of our really big dudes. We can protect that with our blossoming defense and such. A little bit more hostage taker action if we think we can get away with that. Um, Gonti, he's really great. Um, Vivian Reed, I, I'm starting to like this Planeswalker more and more, guys. Like, this Planeswalker is the real deal. Vivian's awesome. And then, uh, let's, let's pull these bad boys over here where you can see them. Uh, Noxious Gear Hulk. Yeah, a couple copies of Noxious here because, you know, let's do it, right? Um, all in all, I mean, we've got most of our removal in the sideboard. We've got, you know, some draw and things like that in the sideboard. But the main board, got one main plan. Get creatures down, make those creatures bigger than them, and just beat them in the face, right? Just, just beat them in the face. Just make it happen make it happen um so that's what we're going to be dealing with Ad adventurous impulse a card that was kind of always on the radar but it is just starting to become more and more of that that mainstay in these green decks it's amazing that green gets um you know some of the better draw spells nowadays even in modern green has the best one mana cantrip that you can get um you know with ancient stirrings no this is no ancient stirrings by all means this is no ancient stirrings but you do get to look at the top three cards of your library and you get to um, you know grab a creature or a land from them which is not bad and that can be any land doesn't have to be a basic resco on the bottom of your library no that's no ponder but you know one mana cantrip i think we kind of 
Got to be kind of be toying around with this. And then, you know, I really wanted to play this deck with hostage takers and blossoming defenses. But in most of the cases, if you're not holding the blossoming defense, your hostage takers just kind of out there. Um, now, we do have Winding Constrictor here. We've got a little bit of ramp in our Land of War Elves. We can start getting on up there. Um, we can turn to something like, uh, Had no, I what we won't do. Hadana's Climb, which is, um, one of the ways that, uh, one of the ways that, uh, you know, we can just add counters to, like, everything. A turn to Hatana's Climb, um, it could be mean. Could just become a very, very mean thing. Uh, but for the most part here, our way to protect ourselves against, like, red decks and such, we're going to throw down our two-mana Wild Growth Walker here. If they don't have a Fatal Push or, you know, a Burn Spell to, to kill this guy, it ain't going to be long, and he's going to get completely out of control. There's some really great turn four plays. You know, you get that Winding Constrictor down on two, you get that Rish Car down on three, and then on turn four, you hit a Wild Growth Walker, backing that up with a Merfolk Branch Walker, and oh my god, it gets out of control. And that's our plan here, guys. Turning Merfolk Branch Walkers into Jade Light Rangers and turning, turning Jade Light Rangers into the real Luigi. He'll become Mario after this, guys. I'm not joking. Like, Luigi becomes the all-star if you got a Winding Constrictor and a Wild Growth Walker down, right? Like, so big he can't even go through the tunnels. I mean, like, Luigi becomes the real deal. Anyway, no second place here. Um, hopefully not, anyway. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, second player, Luigi. Right. Somebody got that. Uh, no ballistas. No, no ballistas. Um, <laughs> by the way, uh, spoiler alert, I'm working on my top 10, and I can't find a card that I hate to see rotate more than ballista. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, just rotate ballista, but I'm not me. Not me. I can't think of, uh... I can't think of a card that I'd rather keep around than Walking Ballista. I just love it. Before that, we had Hangerback Walker. So for the past couple rotations, man, we've just been spoiled with our uh, XX uh, constructs, man. It's just been great. Um, Madness says, so how long as I could play a creature? Uh, so as long as I can play a creature, you were gaining five life each turn, plus um, you had a Resplendent Angel, so you was getting angels every turn. Well, you had an angels deck going on. Um, by the way, that reminds me, made some suggested plan, um, changes to um, your white and tested them, had one game where you had two of Johnny's Welcome on the field, a Leonin Vanguard on the field, and an Aerial Responder. Seems good, right? Like, Leonin, like, Leonin um, is pretty good. Like, the card's really good with a Johnny's Pride Mate, man. Like, especially if you're a deck that is putting a bunch of creatures down. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, Jan, Jan said, Eric just wanted to uh, make the deck more rotation friendly, right? <laughs> Whatever. Um, I mean, we're losing the three, the Scarab Gods in the deck. And, like, uh, some of the decks that I was looking at from Salt Eye were running four of this. It's just like, Turn five, we're playing the Scarab God. Oh, you're Veroska's Contemptant? That's cool. Turn six, we're playing the Scarab God. You're going to Veroska's Contemptant? Ha ha, I've got mana for Blossoming Defense. It's basically the plan. Um, we're going to just kind of throw a bunch of dudes down. They kill our dudes. We're just as happy pulling creatures out of our graveyard as we are out of their graveyard. It's going to be good times. That's pretty much the deck, guys. I mean, uh, most of you have seen Sultai uh, decks before in the past. You know, a lot of different ways you could play these. If you didn't want to run the Hadana's Climb, I understand. But I really wanted to get one more shot in with Winding Constrictor and Hadana's Climb before it was too late. As it's a really, really good way to flip this thing quick. Or to not flip it and every turn just start putting two counters across your board. Seems great. Gerard Martin, what's up, sir? Um, hey Eric, good to see you. The deck looks really cool. Well, thank you. Salvete, what's up? Uh, no, this is not my Sultai Reanimator list. Uh, again, guys, this is not Sultai Reanimator. I've got a Sultai Reanimator deck that I'm working on. However, I keep losing to Mono Red Wizards, um, pretty religiously. Like, I don't think I have a game against Mono Red Wizards. Um, so, definitely need to work on... The, the wizard's plan and um, it's 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 not looking great I'm not wanting to run Bantu's last reckoning 
just doesn't feel right even though I'm a reanimator deck we can pull things back just doesn't feel right and those decks just get you so low so fast that even if you wipe the board if you can't gain some life then you're in trouble which is one of the reasons I was very very happy about running wild growth walker here so you've got seen the deck you've seen the sideboard let's see some gameplay right Yeah, uh, Sultai, uh, Sultai is a really good set of colors. I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Well, let's see what happens. Andy B. Playing Andy B. 991. Um, how did your Shala deck do last night? Um, not well, sir. Not well, Ghost Man. You didn't go back and watch the replay? Um... Personally, you really like the Sultai um, Snake Energy with Climb and Energy Hydra. Yeah, I'm. Um, I played that as um, as a deck for a while before. Uh, bef I played that as a deck when everyone else was playing Aetherworks Marvel. When Aetherworks Marvel uh, was banned, I started playing Grixis uh, because my Grixis deck had a really good matchup against the new version of Teamer Energy. Um, I was running a card. Um, I was running a, a, a couple of sacrifice cards that, that worked really, really well against that. So, um, what do we got here? Well, we are only one land off of being able to, uh, to start playing Luigi. Um, we're just gonna, we're just, we're just gonna call this Luigi, okay? You know, it's just gonna be Luigi. I'm just gonna go with that. Um, I don't really think I can give this hand up, even though, you know, there's no blue mana, but we don't really have a blue hand yet. Um, we can start with our cemetery, uh, Woodland Cemetery, follow it up with a Blooming Marsh, get our Wild Growth Walker on the battlefield. We've got three draws to get that land, so we'll see what happens. Is this going to be an artifact? Are we seeing an artifact? Yeah, it's an artifact. Alright, so we're doing this. We know what we're bringing in out of the sideboard, right? Who's Mario, Snake? Um... Oh man, alright, well, uh, looks like we're actually playing Blooming Marsh. Change of plans, we've got a one drop. Let's do it. Yeah, it's the overalls. It is all about the overalls. Oh, I am so taking that forest, because that's that's what we wanted. Um, and we'll just put the rest on the bottom of the library. Yeah, there was another Wild Roof Walker there, there was Hadana's Climb that we're not going to be able to get to, and we just put that on the bottom. It's okay, it's okay. Right, green dude with overalls. Luigi. Actually, I think that Merfolk's a female, but whatever. Luigi. Nah, I butchered that, right? Anyway. At least now we're, we're good all the way up till turn three. We can start getting out these these um, Jade Light Rangers. Probably about to get this Wild Grove Walker countered here. That's okay. I mean, if we just run it into a counter, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Especially when we have backup Wild Grove. So... Um, just slam it down and go from there. Now, because these decks run um, Brawl's expertise, like putting a bunch of counters, like we're not going to be able to count on that sticking around, things like that. Um, I am kind of excited about the fact that we've got a hostage taker here. If he can't do anything about the hostage taker, then we're probably going to take whatever his most important artifact is, to, you know, the statuary or, or something of that nature. So, um, is this what we're seeing right now? Is this a statuary? No, it's Psy Master Bopterist. What a dude. What a dude. Oh my goodness. There's that Mox Amber. Psy Master Thopterist doing work. Already. Already doing work. Well, um, I mean, we've got the uh, Fetid Pools for later. But right now, I just want to get into... A little bit of Jade Light Ranger action. I mean, we'll, we'll get some triggers, we'll get some body, or some plus one one counters, and uh, yeah. Jade Light to the graveyard. We get a land. Cool. Seems good. I wouldn't have put that Jade Light in the, in the graveyard if I, um, if I didn't already have another Jade Light. So, you know, that's a thing. Um, either way, we're just going to pass the turn here. Next turn... I mean, there's no point in swinging, right? Why not? I mean, we can block Psy. We can't block the uh, Thopter anyway. 
get him used to, to blocking it while it's too small and then like sneak in a blossoming defense and kill that Psy? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, if you want triggers, you'll go to one of two places. To Magic the Gathering or to... T I don't get the Tumblr thing, but okay. Um, there's a bunch of triggers there. Um, glad to see me so bubbly. Am I bubbly? Mm, well, all right. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm playing Saltai. Um, I'm a big fan of Grixis, but I have been a big fan of Saltai for a long time as well. Um, Saltai is kind of like my Jun. You know, a lot of people like Jun. They always try to make Jun work in a lot of different formats. I am the one that kind of likes to make uh, Saltai. So triggered. Jack Breacher's triggered. Triggered. Um, what about first-person shooters? Hey, there's your trigger, right? Uh, love me some PUBG. PUBG is awesome. That's awesome. Um, put Song of Freilies in here, or however you spell it. <laughs> I'm the same way on the on the misspelling of Freilies. Um, is it Freilies or Freilies? I don't know. Maybe Katie's here. She can tell us how's that. Um, my accent. I'm not saying. That. I'm not saying. That. Speaking of which, Kenneth, did I miss a shout out on you? I, I could have sworn I seen your your name up there earlier. Um, shout out to uh, shout out to Kenneth and Miss Katie. Hope y'all are watching. Anyway, um, Frey Elise, Frey Elise. Yeah, let's go with Frey Elise. Seems good. Seems good. All right, what do you got, opponent? What do you got? What do you got? I mean, I'm doing this. I'm doing the Saffron Olive thing. You know, what do you got? What do you got, opponent? What do you got? Ornithopter. Well, okay. Okay. We know we're playing this land. I'm just going to play it right now. Um, I really want to kill this Psy Master Thopterist. I think it's necessary. So we're going to try. A block. Oh, opponent. Opponent. We're not going to Jade Light Ranger this turn. I'm going to save up my protection. I, um, I assume the opponent's getting ready for a Brawl's Expertise or something like that. Uh, being able to bounce our board seems uh, pretty advantageous for him. So, I mean, we did chip in for a little bit of damage there. We killed a Thopter. You know, some other, other neat little things happening. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. What up? Sounds right to us. Uh, sounds right to you guys. Sweet. Freely, free we'll go. With it. We'll go with it. Awesome. Oh, what do you got, opponent? What are you doing? Three mana, one blue, and two. Uh, well, two blue and a colorless. What are you doing with that? Inspiring statuary. There it is. There it is. Well, the only thing we can do from here is just start beating down. I mean really want to save this. I want to pick up something like that Inspiring Statuary um, and just kind of pray that we can hang on to it for a little bit, cast it. I mean, you still got six cards in hand. That's not great for us. We've only got five. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, afraid Electrical Lead. What? What? What's all that thing? I'm going to move my chat. I want to be able to see my chat. Let's move chat right here. Bam. Uh, would be fun with Hostage Taker uh, to take the Reservoir. Right? Especially with our life gain. Can you imagine? Um, like, if we were able to take something like Reservoir and... Be like, oh man, it would, that would be great. I assume that this is actually a uh, Antiquities War deck. Can we hear Castlemania? Oh my goodness. Hey, um, I don't have Castlemania. I will have to download that. 
Um, give me uh, give me a little bit, and we'll do that. I'm not going with the uh, the Scarab God here yet. Um, I am just going to play a, a Hostage Taker. I want to take this Inspiring Statuary, and then just kind of uh, go from there. Really just want to be able to take this Inspiring Statuary. And then we'll swing with our two big guys. Good old Jade Light. Luigi getting in there. Any contempt? No contempts, man. No contempts. Um, no removal in the main board. We just do not have removal in the main board. And in the sideboard, we're looking at cast downs, which um, not going to do us a, a ton of good there either. So... Um, as of right now, we're just trying to beat our opponent in the face um, as hard as we can. Uh, yeah, I, I took the Inspiring. I 100% took his Inspiring Statuary. He may just have another one, uh, but letting him cast bigger and bigger spells that are not artifacts for you know cheaper and cheaper is not where I really want to be. So, yeah. Um, I, I could have took Psy. I could have taken Psy. But I don't think that's how we win. Mm. Did that happen? Did that happen? Oh, it happened. Yeah, he wanted that. He wanted that stat that statuary back. But unfortunately, we ain't giving it back. It's our statuary. And I'm getting it out from in, out from under this dude as quickly as mistap my mana. I mistap my mana. I was supposed to leave up two green for Luigi, and I didn't do it. So this is a good time to compound our mistake. Yeah. Yeah, I, we we just needed I just needed to get this down. So Oh man, that was a that was a big punt right there. We would have been able to play that J light, gain a lot more life, do some more things. Um there's some versions of this deck coming out that that people are playing that actually um I'm swinging with everything. If he wants to kill something that's fine, putting more things in the graveyard for the Scarab God in later turns is going to be pretty decent for us. Um so yeah. Try a no yes, but try a no budget. Uh, oh, that's a message. My bad. Um well. All right. I like it. I'm okay with this. I mean, the opponent's taking a little bit of damage here. We've got a little bit of mana held up. What's up, everyone? Ready for some Sultai action. B-dub? Awesome. Awesome. Glad you're ready. Um, Anthony, how you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it makes me feel a lot better that I do that steal. What? What do you do? You, you make punts like tapping the wrong mana like I did? Yeah, it happens. Uh-oh. There's an Aether Flux. So, I guess this is paradoxical. Ow. Nope. Reverse Engineer. Um, reverse Engineer may not be good enough here. Hmm. Ooh. Now we got some goodness. So... Let's just get as many explorers as we can down and then swing in for the biggest hit as possible. Oh, Adventurer's Impulse. Do we want to draw that next turn? I think I do. I think I'm just going to leave it on top. We're just going to get all these plus one one counters. We'll just leave it on top of the next, like, three. So, leave up that blue. I mean, we've been bluffing that we have, like, something that might be blue in the deck. So, put on top. Put on top. What I'm really hoping for is we can find something like um, another hostage taker 
you know, or maybe get our hostage taker killed. We'll take his Aetherflux Reservoir and then, like, you know, cast another Explore creature or two and then just kill him with his own Aetherflux Reservoir. Wouldn't that be sweet? Man, that'd be sweet. Let's go, Psy. What do you got? What do you got, Psy? Get in front of it, Psy. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Psy down. That's okay. He's got, like, three more Psy. Right? You know he's got to be holding, like, at least another Psy or two. Retro Arcade Fan. Howdy. How are you doing? Oh, he gained a life. He gained a life. That happened. Not a lot I can do about it. Um, so he is 100% the Aetherflux Reservoir deck. Um, unfortunately, with no Psy currently on the battlefield. This is probably Psy, though, right? Ooh, another Inspiring Statuary. With no Psy currently on the battlefield, he's not going to get all that extra value out of like just making all the the extra Thopters, which technically become mana, um, you know, with the Inspiring Statuary and stuff. Fountain of Renewal. Whoa. All right. All right. What do you got, opponent? Can you combo off here? Can you kill us? Can you kill us? Paradoxical outcome. Let's see what you got. Show me. Show it to me, opponent. Show me that paradoxical outcome. There it is. Bringing back all of the zeros. Making some dudes. Gonna make some. Gonna make some bodies. Gonna gain some life. Um, seems good. Seems good. I mean, he's gonna gain a ton of life right here. There's a Psy Master Thopterus. Oh yeah, that happened. Now he plays three more zeros, and yeah. I mean, he's got eight cards in hand. He's got to have a ton of ways to just go off. He's back at 17 life. Each one gains a ton of life here. Um, what would be awesome is uh, being able to get above 50, and he would have to combo off twice. I just can't believe that we're sitting at 44 life in an aggro deck, right? Like, oh my goodness. Um, kind of disappointed it didn't work. Uh, oh, you went back and watched that, Ghost Man. Yeah, I mean, there's just some um, some things that I didn't like, and most of those were in the sideboard. Um, I think we just had too many copy spells, because like if you don't have like, a legit creature on the battlefield, you can't copy anything. And top decking a copy creature is just going to end up as a 0-0, zero, zero, and you don't even have a blocker. So, I mean, you know, it happens. 35 life opponent! Gee. All right, well, let's cast Adventurous Impulse, see what we can find. There's a Merfolk Branch Walker. We'll go any order. 100% playing Merfolk Branch Walker here. Not playing the Scarab God. Um, I want to get above 50 life um, so that we can kind of drag this out a little bit longer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Need a little more. We need a little bit more. So just keeping the pressure up, make him keep blocking, make him keep having to, to do things. Um, that's about all we can do here. Um, I mean, he's definitely going to want to put as much as he can in front of most of our dudes. So, yeah. We'll play the land. If we top deck a land, we can um, play the Scarab God and activate him at the same time. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. Um, activating him, the first thing I want back is a Jade Light Ranger because Jade Light Ranger is going to put us above 50 life. And that's kind of where we have to be. The, uh, we've got to be able to get above 50 before the opponent can get 250. And at that point, I think we just continue the beatdown plan and just roll with it from there um so that's the that's the hopes that's the dreams we'll see if we get there we're way ahead on time well, that's good uh-oh there is a second aether flux reservoir my goodness please kill my hostage taker 
Prism. Oh, he's gaining way too much life, guys. This may be it. This may be it. It may be over. I mean, he's down to three cards in hand. If he has a paradoxical outcome, he draws most of his deck, and this is over. If he has paradoxical outcome, it is over. <sighs> Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. Let's go to combat. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. No, there's a paradoxical outcome. Well, good game. Couldn't get to 50. I needed to get to 51 life. 51! 51 life. Oh, man. Maybe I should have kept that other, uh, that other one there. All right, well... I think we 100% want uh, Brontodon. We definitely want our other Hostage Taker. Um, I think as far as cards that we will be pulling out, I don't think Liliana puts enough onto the battlefield at um, the time we need it. We are on the play, so Rishkar is going to actually be pretty good. I don't think I'm looking for Hadana's Climb because he's got plenty of flying blockers with his Psy. And then... Um, let's see... What else can we take out? Maybe one Rishkar. Maybe just one. Maybe just the one. Gonti. Gonti might have been good. Oh, Vivian Reed. I didn't even think about her negative ability. I am so not used to playing with her. Vivian Reed would have been good. You guys got me. Vivian would have been good. Um, the Scarab God probably should have cut one copy of that in this deck. Because I don't think it would, is that great. We have one heck of a storm going on here, so if you start to see the lights in the back flicker, then um, that will be will be on battery backup, and um, at that point the stream will go down. I will rerun this if we lose the stream. Um, so uh, we do have a big storm coming in right now. So one Walker out. See, I don't think I want Walker out in this matchup because uh, race him to kill them rather than build up to it. Well, we were actually trying to race him to kill him, but if he gets a Psy Master Thopterus down, we don't have really a way to deal with that. It makes so many blockers that that we're not going to be doing a significant race in the first place. So, um, yeah. Um, and look, now we've got two drop. So we'll just play our Wild Growth Walker and um, pass. Now next turn, if we don't draw a land, we'll play uh, Merfolk Branch Walker and hopefully uh, dig into some mana. Gaining life is, is kind of like a secondary thing, but um, I, like, I probably should have taken out a copy of the Scarab God, honestly, considering this is not a matchup where I expect to lose creatures and I don't expect him to have much more than a Psy. We don't really have artifacts, so we can't really cast or we can't really activate Psy. Man, you know, sometimes life is just great, right? Sometimes. Sometimes. No negates in the sideboard of this deck, which is something cool. Isn't this just Salt Eye Constrictor? Yeah. Yeah. It's a, like, I think I even put that in the description box uh, that this was Salt Eye Constrictor. Um, Salt Eye Constrictor, Salt Eye Midrange, Salt Eye the Scarab God, whatever you want to call it. So, for the record, if we would have played Wild Growth Walk or Merfolk Branch Walker on um, two, we would have drawn a land. We still would have been swinging for two damage this turn. Um, this way, at least we swing for two damage no matter what. So we're kind of taking that that risk element out by playing it this way. So. Um, Zithopters. Tilt. Alright. Um, I swing. I mean, I don't think he can block here.
just bluffing. What? Just it, I'm just bluffing. Just bluffing. No attacks opponent. Okay, all right. Um, I definitely want a little bit more mana here. Let's see if we can find like a J Light Ranger. I kept up double green. Eh? Eh? Oh man, just more land. All right, cool. It's kind of what we wanted anyway. So we'll go any order. Play our land for the turn. Um, I think we still just swing in. I mean, just keep chipping. Keep chipping in there. As much as I want to play this hostage taker and grab that Psy, we're not going to. Um, he's almost to the point now where he's pretty much got to start blocking, so... No, I, I'm saving the hostage taker for his um, Aetherflux Reservoir. Well, ain't that a thing. He's got two cards in hand. Two cards in hand. If we can slow this down a little bit, we might be able to get somewhere. So, we'll see what happens. I mean, if one of them is a paradoxical outcome and he starts, you know, bringing things back. Does paradoxical outcome give him cards if he bounces tokens? Or does it say non-tokens? There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. He's got no blue mana available at the moment. Um, so... I'm going to make him have to have, uh... Man, I should have saved that. I so should have saved that. So now he pretty much like, has to find a way to bounce our hostage taker. If he doesn't bounce the hostage taker, then he's in a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a situation. Um, putting Psy in front of this would be a good way to bait out a blossoming defense or something like that. If we had, if we, if we had that, um, I think next turn we just start slamming like the Scarab God or something, unless we pull a um, a. Yeah, that's that's fine. Just deal damage like that, unless we pull. Um, like a Merfolk Branch Walker or something like that. Uh, if I pull a Branch Walker or a Jade Light Ranger, I'm just going to play um, Binding Constrictor and that card. And then we're just going to start swinging. Most likely, though, mm, just play an Aetherflux Reservoir. Ornithopter. I mean, he's got the cards. Does he have the draw spell? Oh, no. Is this another commit? Memory. We're drawing seven, ladies and gentlemen. We're drawing seven. Well, I don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Oh, my goodness. Like, how do we... I mean, he's got five cards in hand, right? Ooh. Ooh, Aether Flux Reservoir. I'm kind of curious at, um, like, how do we navigate through this? Like, if, if he just casts Commit, he's just praying? I mean, he just gave us seven cards. I mean, one of which is still the Scarab God, so no big deal there. But now we've got a Brontodon. Like, Brontodon just killing Inspiring Statuary might just be the play. It, that may just be the play. Be like, bam, done. Now what? Um, I mean, I know he's got five cards in hand. Most of those are probably just going to be amazing. Um, but, yeah. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? Um, 
I mean, did we just play the Aetherflux Reservoir here? If we get an untapped source, just play Brontodon and Constrictor. Right, because we have to keep four up for the Brontodon, right? There it is. There it be. Um... So what does Brontodon and Constrictor actually give us, right? Like, so I know I really want the Brontodon, and it, literally it may just be pop the Inspiring Statuary. Um, but I'm worried about this setting here. I'm worried about him getting it back. I'm also worried about him just having another copy of it. So I kind of want to get it out from under my hostage take. You know what? Let's say if he does get it back, we're okay. We'll be okay. Yeah. Um, thrashing Brontodon here is probably where we want to be. Like, if he has a counterspell, well, he can't do anything right now. He doesn't have the mana. So, one, two, Wild Growth, Walker, or Winding Constrictor. Um, we have more hits with um, Wild Growth, Walker, but then again, Winding Constrictor is great too. Let's go Constrictor. Right? Um, I thought about holding up for the cycle. I really did. Um, but, again, I'm probably just going for 9 mana again. Happening. Happening. Um, right? I thought about Wild Growth Walker there. I, I really did. Um, it's probably the right play over Winding Constrictor. Like, it was just really, really close for me. So, we can't swing with this. It puts 3 dudes in front of it. And then Wild Growth Walker takes four dudes in front of it, and we kill two of them. Could have been just Lana War Elf hold up the hold it up, and at the end of turn we could cycle. How do we swing this turn? Like, I don't think we can swing this turn. Maybe just maybe just the Wild Growth Walker, but I don't think we can do that either. I think he could just put Psy in front of it, so yeah. Um, yeah, Expertise uh, would return it. Would return it, and right now we're technically bluffing that we have this covered with a Blossoming Defense, um, and I really, really want to maintain that one mana up at all times because of... Uh, of, of Thrashing Brontodon being able to kill something, you know, like another Aetherflux Reservoir. Hey, second Inspiring Statuary. Seems good. I mean, he's at 8 life. I mean, if we can get our dudes to start growing, we'll be alright. SOL? If you're SOL, you're shit out of luck, right? Um, yeah. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Well, we're not going to be popping that inspiring statuary now, so. I mean, so. I mean, does he just start the. Sure. Sure. 11 cards in hand. Alright, well, we'll see. We'll see. Come on, opponent. Show me. Show me those nine cards. Just let's do it. Make all the Thopters in the world. 
and we'll start to turn things sideways. Just give me a Jade Light Ranger off the top. Jade Light off the top would be so sweet. Mad Dad, what's up, man? All the Thopters. All the Thopters. The opponent's getting in. We're at 13 minutes. The opponent's got, you know, he just turned, turned red on the clock. He's got to find a way to finish this quick. Jade Light. Come on, Jade Light. Give me a Jade Light Ranger, please. Throw a sigh away. Throw a sigh away. You don't want a sigh. Jade Light would still be awesome. Alright, so I take Hostage Taker here. Not a land. We play Hostage Taker, pick up Psy. We'll play our land. I mean, he's got to have another Psy, right? Has to have another sigh. And then we still have our one mana protection uh, for our Thrashing Brontodon. Like, if he doesn't have sigh and seven cards, like, what's, well, like, honestly, what's going on? Blink of an eye, bouncing his own sigh. That happened. Attack. Attack. I mean, if he puts all four here, then takes four and loses um, four life. So, I mean, if, if this is his plan to put all four in front of this, then we'll just pop an Inspiring Statuary. Clearly not his plan. Clearly not his plan. But it will slow down his attack plan against us, which is um, part of our plan. So... I mean, killing as many of those Thopters, right? What about slamming Scarab God to bring back what? Like, I, I get it. A 5-5 five five is good, but mm, it still just gets blocked by a Thopter. And as of right now, we don't have anything in the graveyard, so it would just be a 5-5. Five five. And I would rather get more value creatures down and things like that. Now, if I had a graveyard to choose from, if we were in a graveyard matchup, we were against Red Deck or anything like that, the Scarab God would be amazing. But in this matchup, there's just nothing in the graveyard for us to play around with, so I'm not really, not really um, big on uh, on the uh, the Scarab God right here. So, like I said, I probably should have taken one of them out. Um, so I like and just brought in Gonti instead. Uh. I mean he's got three minutes left on the clock. We can survive at least three more swings, so Eric and Lamp. Yeah. Eric and Lamp. What Eric and Lamp said. <laughs> Paradoxical outcome. All right. Well, he's got 13 cards in hand. I mean, Think we pop this? I mean, I don't think he cast things at instant speed here. And he's not getting the other artifact down. So we get a turn here. Now the scarab god's looking really, really good. Fountain. I mean, yeah, he's making a ton of Thopters. He is. He's making a ton of Thopters. Getting in there. Come on, Jade Light. Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding, Jade Light Ranger? Where are you hiding? 
That's Atlanta Whirl. That's so Atlanta Whirl. Alright. Um, black, blue. So we attack, attack, attack. Definitely want to keep pressuring the opponent here. Um, we're in a little bit of trouble. Definitely in a little bit of trouble. The opponent is not spending much time. Um, we're at 14. So, he doesn't kill us this turn, but um, it's going to get a little hairy for next turn. It's definitely going to get a little hairy for next turn. He's got a ton of cards. He's got a, got a lot of things he can do here. So, Right, the, the Wild Growth Walker, we can play that any turn that we finally get something that could gain life. So, yeah. Um, like, he... Wild Growth Walker, we can always play that the turn that we need to, to start bringing things back. So, as of right now, there is a Psy Master Thopterist in the graveyard. It's not exactly what we're looking for, but... Wow, what is this Brawl's Expertise? Rivers Rebuke. We got rebuked. Hmm. Paradoxical outcome. He's going to gain a ton of life. There's a Thopter. 56 seconds, opponent. I mean, you're doing it, though. You're so doing it. Forty-five seconds. Combat. We need a Jade Light Ranger off the top so bad, so bad. I think it. I, th I think it's Jade Light or bust here. Yeah, I, I think it's Jade Light or bust off the top. That is not a Jade Light Ranger. Is there a way to navigate through this? Is there a way to navigate through this? So we've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Don't think there's a way to navigate through this one. Well, good game, opponent. Good game. Good game. Um, so we try to use the clock, right? All right, we put a spell on the stack. We put it. Oh, he's already F sixed. Not a lot we can do about it. Um. Yeah, I mean we're just dead here. He just goes to combat, attacks, and that's gonna be game. GG opponent. The River's Rebuke. River's Rebuke. Yep. Rebuke got us. Got taken down by River's Rebuke. He even swung with the with the, the Ornithopters. Even with the Ornithopters. <sighs> what a thing. What a thing. Hey, it's a mean deck. That is definitely a mean deck. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, that was a good game. Hostage taker for something. Yeah, I, I, like the prayer was that like I got to counting my mana and I was like, man, do we have a chance to like hostage taker their Aetherplux Reservoir and then like cast two Land of War Elves or something like that? Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. Oh goodness gracious! Well, we can go Fetid Pools. Yeah, this is decent. This is this is a keepable hand. Uh, we turn one Fetid Pools into. Oh my goodness, are we? 
Is this happening? Are we playing against another one of these decks? We may be. We'll turn to uh, Botanical Sanctum, drop our Wild Growth Walker, and then um, start doing crazy things from there. I, I'm pretty sure Wild Growth gets killed right here. Right? Or maybe just counter. Maybe just counters it. Yeah. Yay! Uh, blue Black Control. Or Grixis. Grixis with a... Oh, no. <laughs> what a thing. Got me, opponent. Got me. The Wild Growth Walker can allow you to just, like, really take off with your life total. It's, it's a pretty good card. It's a pretty good card. I'm going to Merfolk Branch Walker first here. And, um... This will leave, um, leave me with a little bit more information before I Adventurous Impulse. So, if there's a card there that we know that we want, right, um, we would be able to pick that up with Adventurous Impulse. Um, however, we could just end up with land, you know. So, um, which, in any case, I'm still going to cast Adventurous, um, Adventurous Impulse to uh, give myself, uh, you know, a little bit more usage of my mana, right? I want to use the mana as much as possible. We got Climb in here. Two copies, James. Two copies. Hey, man. Climb deck. Yeah, we do have two copies of Climb in this deck. Um, so, that's a thing. It's a The Scarab God, Winding Constrictor, Explorer, Rishkar, Pima Renegade goodness deck. You know? Just all those great things. So, if we play the Fetid Pools, we can play the other Branch Walker. And keep up blossoming defense, but I would actually like rather keep up blossoming defense against like for like a turn six the scarab god or something. But then again, I mean he's got counter spells anyway. Uh, we could play Hinterland Harbor, keep up the blossoming defense, and then uh, play Rishkar and swing in for three. But that doesn't seem great either. Um, I think I just want a branch walker and hold up blossoming defense. But am I really worried about defending my my Merfolk? Yeah, let's hit him for two. Let's just punch him for two. Punchy, punchy. Rishkar works really good in this deck because you know once you get a bunch of plus one counters on all your, all of your explore guys, they can all tap for mana. They all basically become land of war elves and things like that. So, yeah, uh, your main deck was a Sultai explore deck for a long time with flying hydras and gear hulks as a as finishers. That seems pretty good, Steven. That seems pretty good, sir. Like, it's... Is it Steven or Stefan? Um... <laughs> uh, I'm being facetious. Let's, uh, let's... Let's just do it. Let's just do it. we we'll just play another Branch Walker. What do we got on top? A line of War Elves. Mm, it's not where we want to be. Not where we wanted to be. We want to see that on one. Steven. All right. Steven. Gotcha. Yes, there's four constrictors here. Absolutely four constrictors. There's one right now. His the Scarab God's better than our the Scarab God. Because he's already got his on the battlefield. All right, so we try to kill it. Take six. You know you want to block it. Oh, he does want to block it. Bought ourselves a little time. A little time. Little bit of time ball. Punt. I'm not I'm not I'm not counting that as a punt. I am so not counting that as a punt. No. No, I'm I'm not counting that as a punt. You guys won't get me with that one.
Not a punt. Just a different line. Well, that seems good, doesn't it? Put it on the top. Put it on the top. Like, the only thing we can do here is just get bigger and badder and just get at him. Um, now, one of the cool things we're going to be able to do here is we can play Constrictor or the Scarab God this turn and activate it this coming turn if it resolves. So, yeah. But it would have been obvious. So, dropping Constrictor, then playing Rishkar. Mm. Let it resolve. Let it resolve. Going to one, two, three, four, pass. Nah, I shouldn't have done that. These only tap for green mana. That is a punt. That is a punt. Contempt. Well, at least he didn't bring a dude back. At least he didn't bring back a dude. In other words, he still has things he wants to do. All right. Okay, let's see if we can find something. Wild Growth Walker seems good. We'll go any order. Impulse. Any order. Not swinging with this, not swinging with this, so we'll go um, black, blue, try to play the hostage taker. I mean, I'm, I just assume that he has counter spells, kill spells, all of the other good things. Disallow. Um, now I'll swing with Jade Light here. So if he wants to get in front of that with the Scarab God, he can. Okay. Um, doesn't seem horrible. I mean, I know he's going to get the Scarab God back, but if he spends his turn just playing it again next turn, I'm also fairly okay with that. I don't know exactly how we get in, but uh, it's just getting scattered. Forsake the Worldly Cycle. Okay. Wow, so he's got white mana in this deck, and we ain't seen it yet. Uh-oh. For the people who um, use watching as a learning tool, this is the only reason I uh, think it was brought up. Okay, so... Um, I mean, I didn't want to lose it to the Scarab God, but it looks like that's kind of the plan here. I mean, are we looking at Settle the Wreckage or just another the Scarab guy? Tori? What are you popping, Tori? What are you going to pop with that Roska's Contempt? The Snake. Snakes. All these snakes on the plane. Um, we just can't swing... Like, there's just nothing we can do to swing. Um, I mean, I could start trying to get in. Tori's just going to eat stuff, though. So, like, at this point, we're just on this, like, this ground... Having this ground battle. So, yeah. This is, uh, I mean, we can't just swing into Tori here and put more things in the graveyard for him, him to potentially take back because now he's drawing more lands than we are. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. What's up, Chris? We are definitely playing against Blue Black the Scarab, or Esper the Scarab God. Esper Control here.
This seems good. That would have been even better with two counters here. Oh, well. Let's use Lano and... I don't think I'm swinging with Wild Growth Walker. I didn't want to play it. F6. Misclick. I really suck at this game, don't I? Right. Uh, it's only white for... I don't know. Maybe you think maybe they got subtle in there? Yeah, I straight pointed that. I shouldn't have played that land. Shouldn't have played that land. Oh! Well, I mean, the Sky God's just rough, period. Definitely rough. And he brings back our hostage taker. Get out of here. Get out of here. We don't want to play with you no more. Get out of here, opponent. Okay. So we know we need these. Um, this is probably... Gonti's probably going to be great. These kill gear hulks. But then again, these kill gear hulks and their creatures. Vivian Reed's probably not bad. Um, hostage taker's probably at its worst in this matchup. Uh, we don't need the life gain from Wild Growth Walker in this matchup. So we've got eight cards that we want to bring in. We need to get rid of three more. Madonna's Climb. Putting us in the air is probably good. Actually, Climb's probably really good. So um, I want as many of the Scarab Gods as possible in this matchup. Taking out Lily. Lily could be really good. Like, Lily's something I'd want to play in this matchup. Uh, let's go Rishkar. Jade Light. And then... I'm on the play, so I definitely want to keep a Land of War Elf. I mean, that's draw, but we did bring in our other draw. So I definitely want to keep in, like, as many creatures as possible here. So maybe actually no to Hadana's Climb. I don't know. We'll keep this. Oh, yeah, the bestiary is definitely coming in. Um, yeah, I mean, when the opponent has the Scarab God, too, and they got to theirs quicker than we did, it usually gets pretty rough. So, like... Like, my, my biggest hope right here is to get down this berry and just hope and pray that we can do work with it, right? No contempts! No contempts in the list! No contempts in the list. Um, so we're going to play our Fetid Pool. Oh, man. Cemetery. Do uh, you think this? Do you think this bestiary resolves? Bestiary, bestiary, <laughs> bold. Yeah, it, it's a bold move. Um, not my deck, but bold move. Okay, opponent, you got a syncopate. Let's see it. If you got it, you have to counter this. All right, forsake it then. Um. Take what out? Uh, oh, it's 100% great to see more cards against um, control. Here we see um, about three cards per turn if we cast a creature. So we're going to be able to... Oh, yeah, I'm going to put that on top. So we're only going to see two cards this turn. Although we're going to... Um, I almost messed that up, didn't I? Cast Jade Light Ranger. I'm going to draw a card. We get another Jade Light Ranger. Now he can decide whether he wants to counter this or not. So, I'm okay with that. I mean, I've already replaced it. Is, he, is his counter spell going to replace itself? Probably not. 
So, I mean, that's that's kind of like the, the plan here. Um, Argyle's Bloodfast is good as well, but because we have so many creatures that are actually really, really good for the opponent to, to bring back with his uh, the Scarab copies of the Scarab God, um, that us losing life total and getting low uh, seems to be a little bit bad. Yeah, let's let's leave that on top. Definitely wanna definitely wanna hit my land drops here. But we're just gonna go with Jade Light again. And just keep drawing cards. I mean, it seems seems legit, right? Disallow. That's fine. Again, our card replaced itself. His did not. It will replace itself in the form of a 5-6 Flash Artifact. <laughs> You're right. You're right, Steven. That's that's how it will 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 manifest itself again, but um, for now, it's not replacing itself. Uh, best Jerry is going to make sure that every creature we cast, one way or another... Let's put that on top. It seems great. We'll play a land. We'll play a land of war. We'll pay for it. Now we have no other play, right? Or do we? Or do we? Blue, green, black, climb! Grow, my little pretties, grow! Adonis Climb could be a good thing here. I mean, one of the good parts about Adonis Climb is it turns almost anything into a legitimate threat. And it looks like we're going to resolve it. And so that, that could be really good for us. Resolving this climb could continue to give us, you know, the card advantage we need to just continue, just keep going. I mean, even this Land of War Elf is going to become a problem. I mean, it's going to become a problem. Should be fly, you fools. <laughs> There's no flavor tags on the back, but Adana seeks power in the service of peace. Yeah. Kamena was the mean one. Kamena was out for power. So, like, I don't know. He's looking for Forsake. Well, that'll do it too. Little bloop. He's just drawing cards, though. I mean, he's going to untap two, and neither one of them is green, so we're not getting fogged here. So I'm about to pop that to fairy pretty hard. I'm about to punch it in the face. Blossoming defense. Let's go to the bottom of that blossoming defense. I mean, uh, blooming marsh. But I called it, right? Blossoming defense, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. We'll go to combat. We get another counter. And attempt to I mean we're killing Teferi, right? Teferi dies right here. I mean even if he counters, we may just cast another. I'd love to see him actually try actually put a spell on it. Oh yeah, we were either way. I was going to pump with blossoming defense, but now we're probably just going to game three. Like I, I don't know. I mean, maybe not, but maybe. I mean, Teferi's taking five to the face right here. Five to the face. I didn't. I maybe we should have just played the the Brontodon. Just to, just to put more pressure on the battlefield. I think we have to play it before we go into the next turn, though. Um, flipping climbs not exactly what we want to do with this field of ruin here. Um, so I definitely want to get more creatures on the, the battlefield so that I can spread these counters out. Um, so yeah, I probably should have went for it there while the shields were down. So. Brontodon could be a double-edged sword now. Right, because if he the Scarab Gods brings it back, he can start popping our stuff with it. 
right? Is that what we're worried about? I was worried about being able to pop something like Search for Iskanta. So, yeah. Like, I just didn't want him to have, like, Search. I'm, I'm assuming this is Glimmer. No? It's Fatal Push. Do I just let him kill it? No, he's tapped out. I don't let him kill it. He's tapped out. Alright, so we're going to scry. We'll leave that on top. And I'm going to play it. So, now we actually put the counters on the Scarab God. And we don't flip it. We're going to say no. We'll go to combat. I don't know, we could have we could have played it, right? We still had the, the Land of War Elf. We could have we could have paid the one mana and and still been able to do things. Hmm. And second thought, maybe I should have paid for it in the real card. I was just so happy to be able to get the Scarab God down with Blossoming Defense back up. I was just it's phenomenal. Yeah, that was a punt. Yeah, the Land of War could have been used for the other mana. Or should have used the Land of War. Um, should, maybe I should have used the Land of War for. Um, I think we're all right right now, though. I think we're about to be in a pretty decent spot, um, especially considering I'm about to be able to Brontodon, kill this Gear Hulk, and he tapped his Field of Ruin. So, do we want to bring back, like, Jade Light Ranger here? The question is, do we want to go for a big hit right here? I don't think so. I think I want to keep more options available to me. Because right now we're kind of leading. Um, let me put that on the bottom. I mean, maybe we need a backup copy, but I don't think so. And then, of course, you know, now that we have the Scarab got out, just the more lands, the better. Adonis Climb. I would love for, for him to just, you know, block with Tori here. Because then we would have a uh, Blossoming Defense on backup. Okay, you got me, opponent. You got to me. I should have played Th Thrash Brontodon first so that I could just kill Tori. And then we could have blossom had Blossoming Defense on backup. That should have been the play, but it was not. It was not my play. I feel so sheepish. I wasn't expecting Seal Away out of this deck. I was thinking this deck was just kind of blue black with like I just wasn't I wasn't expecting seal away which maybe I should have been but I was not I'm going to give him an opportunity to kill Brontodon and of course we're going to say no because we don't have the mana to do it but Brontodon can pop a seal away give us the scarab god back and we'll have plenty of mana that turn to do things. So it's not over yet. You're right, James. Yeah, he's probably not expecting back-to-back -back Brontodons, for sure. So he uses a Contempt. 
Don't have a counter spell. Don't have a counter spell. Let's go to the bottom of that Atlanta Werewolf. I just put Atlanta Werewolf on the bottom. Alright, so we'll go Woodland Cemetery. One, two, three for Brontodon, plus using him. One, two, yeah, we've got plenty of mana. So let's um let's see what else we can find here. We'll say yes. Alright. Now we're looking fairly decent. So we will Brontodon. Yeah, I'll pay it. I will pay it. More lands. I guess that's a thing. And then... What are we going to make bigger? I'm just going to start growing our Jade Light. What? Hmm. Pop his turn. Yeah, I, I'm holding it up so if he tries to remove something, then we'll pop it then. Um, I don't think I can swing, though. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we can get away with a swing here. Although he's got three cards in hand, we've got a better draw engine on board. Um, we do get to at the end of his turn. Yeah, mind disallow though. I mean, it doesn't matter if he's got it. He's got it. I'm still doing it. Like, I don't think we could play around disallow here. Like if he's got dis if he's got disallow to stop the th the thrashing brontodon trigger then then he's got it like I I just I don't think that that I can play around that if he's got a if he's got a Veroska's contempt then I don't think I can play around that either all right so what do I want. I know what I want. I know, what I, and I, I want to do it now. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it. I want Threshing Brontodon. And yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Cancel. I want to wait for this trigger to go off first, so we'll get one scry and a point of damage. Um, we'll go bottom, top. I would love an adventurous impulse. leave that on top we'll play the woodland cemetery now we can activate thrashing brontodon popping uh tori here bringing back tori with a little bit of protection um so yeah let's uh let's do that bye tori come on don't have an answer for that don't have a way to stop tori Do we swing into it like a settle the wreckage here? <laughs> like, are we about to get settled? Uh, I don't know. One, two, three. Like, we need all of this. We at least need one line of war elf. Alright. Let me swing for a, a half a dozen here. I think we can risk the land of world. I, I I think it. I think it. I think we can risk it. I mean, if this is settle the wreckage, then then whatever. I mean, more mana is more mana, so we'll take it. Um, now we have adventurous impulse. 
after the Settle the Wreckage. Oh, I want that Gaunty. I want that Gaunty. Now, he knows we have Gaunty. So, you know, no, like, major tricks there. But, yeah, I mean, we, we can still get back, like, a Jade Light Ranger. Blue. I think he knew that we didn't have a lot of blue sources left in the deck. Um, so we're, we're just going to maximize mana usage here. And I'll get back a Jade Light Ranger for now. We'll leave that on top. We will leave another copy of the Scarab God. On the top of our library. Our library. But, but Gear Hulk is bigger. They're both four. They're both four fours. They are both four fours, and this is actually bigger because it got two plus one one counters. He had better, or it's good game, right? Uh, I don't know. Blossoming D, yeah, we do. It. We've got Blossom D sideboard, or in the uh, graveyard right now. Like, I want to leave that Gear Hulk in the graveyard for that exact reason, so that we can use Blossoming Defense when we need it. And he was going to create a window there where shields were down. There's not going to be a lot we could do about it, um, and that was just, that was kind of going to be it. Um. Land of War is kind of decent in this matchup. I think I just run it back. Climb helped us win that, right? Oh, yeah. Climb made every little threat aggravating. It made him have to at least like play around the fact that things could get big, so... Constrictor is questionable. Yes, I will. I will give you that. Constrictor is questionable. Uh, it's not a bad hand. We can turn one, turn two, turn three. We have a curve. Uh, we'll be able to look at a ton of cards. We have to get at least one basic. Um, we have six basics in the deck, so we need at least one basic or some of our cycling lands before that woodland cemetery comes in untapped. I don't think it's a bad play, bad hand, but we'll see. Um, against blue-black control, this is going to give us a very early start. Or Esper control, this is going to give us an early start at trying to be aggressive. So, I think that we do it. I think I go Blooming Marsh, Blooming Marsh, um, and go from there. I mean, we get we get an extra draw before anything happens here. So, um, now things get even better. Now, if he can't fatal push this or can't deal with this, then we'll play Jade Light on two. And we'll just skip the Merfolk Branch Walker, save that for a four mana with another two drop. So, I don't know. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, climb definitely made our threats that normally wouldn't be a threat threatening. So, yeah. Right. Impulse can help find it as well. So, this wasn't a bad hand. This wasn't a bad hand at all. Um, yeah, see, now we're looking at Branch Walker, Branch Walker, um, on another turn, so, I mean, if he wants to seal it away, keep us off some mana, that's fine, uh, if he wants to counter this, then, yo, yeah, that, that happens. I'm gonna put that on top, I'm gonna put it on top again. I mean, worst case scenario, I play Tapland, Merfolk, Branch Walker, and Adventurous Impulse next turn, swing for four. So I mean, yeah, we got we got plays, we got action. It's fast, but might lack impact. Um, you might be right, Steve. You might be right, good sir. We will see, though. I mean, psst. punching somebody in the face for four per turn. I won a many a games with, you know, just a 3-3. Three, three. 
I hope this gets under Esper. Um, unfortunately, we're on turn three and we haven't even hit him yet. So... We'll see what happens. Let's see if we can punch him for four here. Punchy, punchy. Oh my goodness. I want... A, I want... I want creature lands so bad. It has been quite some time since we have played with good creature lands. And they bring a a whole other element to the game. And I, I, I want to see that. We'll explore before we play our land. Oh, I want that. I, I need that in my life. Now I don't even want to cast my uh, Adventure Simples. Because next turn we draw Snake. We play Snake, Branch Walker, Tap Land. Yeah. I mean, I could go ahead and draw it now and then just get something else next turn, but mm, I think this is where I want to be. Right, we can bluff a Blossoming Defense. We can bluff, bluff a Defense. He knows we got him. Like, Blossoming Defense is so good against these decks. I'm expecting he's holding up, like, Roska's Content. I definitely want to see if, um... Well, we're not getting settled. He doesn't have the mana for settled. Let's attack. Pretend we've got more things going on. You can have it. Alright, so... Yeah, I, I think we stick to the... The Snake Branch Walker plan. Probably hit a land now, right? Because this is how Branch Walker works. I hate Explore Creatures for this reason. Uh, I like Snake, Constrictor... Oh, I want that. I definitely want the bat. Ah, I didn't play my land! Oh my goodness. Always bluff the Blossoming. Yeah, I didn't play land. Now we'll play it. Uh... I think we're safe to try to get in with this... This turn. I mean, I, I don't think he can kill a... He cycled it? So we'll take seven here. I mean, we turned a, a Merfolk Branch Walker into a Jade Light Ranger. He got his man up, so that's a thing. We can't even cast this. We don't have the blue. We've already played our land for the turn. Like we don't have blue mana to, to cast this. Although we could end up with it, so I I, I think we just kind of have to take it. Just because it's a really good card, and if you'll ever quit exiling our stuff, you know. I mean, next turn we're like Jade Light Ranger. I mean, he has to have like settled the wreckage here, right? That's our blue mana. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. We'll draw it. We'll play it. Like, do I just swing lethal? Do we just do it? Say, you know, fine. Fine. I think so. I think I, I think we put lethal on him and say, hey, look, I hope you got settle. If you don't have settle, if you don't have Tori, it's over. This is probably Tori, but if it's settle, then yeah, it's Tori. 
That is Tori. The opponent's beating us on time this game. Show it if you got it, right? Like, it's kind of it's kind of where we had to be. Really, he's going to take the Forsake. You got me. You so got me, opponent. I... All right, go to blocks. Take the rest of it. He takes four. We jade light. We get lands. Pass. We played our land for the turn. Came in tapped. Um. Oh, come on, man. You know you're not swinging. Um, is he thinking like we don't have an island? Because now we get to cycle? I like this. We grab island. Um, so yeah, we'll cycle. See what else we can get a hold of. Seems good. Keep up the blue. Disallow? Okay. Okay, opponent. That was so sweet. Don't have a kill spell. Mmm! Yeah, that was the whole point. Play the, um, play the, like, so either one of our creatures would have been lethal with the Blossoming Defense, so I was more worried about a Fatal Push right there than I was anything else. Like, so our one way to lose right there was the opponent to have a Fatal Push and, and, um, be able to Fatal Push our dude at the end, so. Woo! Wow! Wow! Delta Dog says, I want a match. I want a match. Bill Dog didn't say anything. He just threw his name up there, and he's like, "Hey, I'll take the next pe person that joins me." But you know, anyway, we're gonna be playing Delta Dog here. So, good luck to you, Delta. Good luck. Have fun. Enjoy your game. Um, we're looking at turn one pools. Man, this may just be an awesome hand. Or it could be more of the same. Because it's, what was I thinking? What was I thinking that I would play against something other than the big decks? We win! <sighs> Let's take it to a queue. We'll see what happens. Out of tickets right now. My bad. Devil Dogs. It was a Delta dog, but you know, two full hunting. Yeah, uh, it's the jam regulators mount up. Regulators, let's ride. You're getting on MTGO. You got a deck? You want to play this? You want to play against this? You want to play against this, Chris? I will play you on stream right now if you want to play. You say you said you're getting on. No, I'm not making that offer to everyone. I'm just saying. For you and you only, right now, Chris Peltier, pull your deck. And if you want to play, we'll play again. I know you use Mana Trader, so go rent you a deck. Let's play. One game. It's going to be the last game of the night. I'm going to play this dude until you say you're ready, and then I'll just drop this game and give this guy the win. Oh, never mind. Ace of Whip, got it. 
So I'm going to play a game. You let me know when you're ready. And I will play you a game, Chris Peltier. Just because like you, I know you just now got your Manica Traders account. I know that you're just now getting to the point where you can um, always... Um, a sweet wild card, right? Uh, you can now always play like any of the decks. So that's really cool. So pull you a deck and uh, we'll play this game. Good time for a bathroom break. Bathroom break and a bowl of cereal, right? Get the bowl, bowl of cereal first. Eat it while you're on. <laughs> Grab me some cereal. Um, you guys are great. Well, guys, this is one of those hands that could just be amazing. Soft keep, <laughs> right? This hand could be absolutely phenomenal, guys. I'm keeping the second constrictor. I wanted a land right there. That's what I wanted. But I'm going to keep the second constrictor in case the first one gets removed. Um, and it also gives me another play. Like maybe I should. Maybe the right play was take the Murfolk Branch Walker because if I don't hit the third land, then we could hit the Branch Walker. We could get the extra counters on the Branch Walker. That sort of thing, but I am taking a gamble that we're going to get that land. If I don't hit the land, I'm going to throw another Constrictor down um, and go at it like that. So here's where we're at. This is what we're doing. Let's see it. That's not a horrible play either, but it ain't going to make the cut. I actually don't like Land of Warps in this deck. Like I said, guys, I didn't build this deck. I, uh, I put two Hadana's Climb in it, took one copy of the four copies of the Scarab God out, and put one Liliana in it. That's the only changes I made. Um, so, yeah, that is not a land. Oh, man, Teferi. Teferi control. Land. I think now I have to land a War Elf because this leaves Blossoming Defense and gives us the... Um, uh, Rishkar Pima, Re Pima Renegade play. So, we'll see what happens. What enables Rishkar? Like... Champion of Wits... I like that card. I'm gonna hate this, this is this is probably definitely on my top five cards of cards I don't want to see rotate. Uh, this was just a really good designed card. Um, it was never broken. It was never like just this was God Pharaoh's gift. We're against God Pharaoh's gift. Uh oh. We need to be as fast as possible. I think we make Rishkar bigger. Like, there's probably a world there somewhere where we could have gotten down, um, you know, an extra uh, Windy Constrictor or something like that. I think we just hold the Hostage Taker, take our beats, and see if we can get this God Pharaoh's Gift under control. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think in, in, against this matchup, we just have to keep taking our beats. Yeah. What is Green Fairy and Hurts when it falls uh, out of a tree? <laughs> a pool table. <sighs> oh, Mr. Adams. Oh, I thought my dad jokes were bad. Oh, I'll add it to the repertoire of, ba of bad dad jokes. Come on, blue mana. Blue off the top would just be magnificent. Blue mana, please. Oh, goodness gracious, great balls of fear. That'll be a problem. Blue mana. Wasn't it. Was not it. Jade Light Ranger. A little too late. A little bit too late.
I think we can swing, though. I don't see me needing to protect myself from other removal in this game. Um, I'm thinking uh, the biggest thing I need to protect myself from is just eating this Angel of Invention. So I'm actually just going to try to hostage take the Angel of Invention instead of taking the God Pharaoh's Gift, which may or may not be the right answer, but um, it'll be an instant kill uh, to just take it. So if he doesn't have other angels or something like that in the graveyard, then uh, definitely 100% the plan is going to be to to just uh, bounce that angel and be done with it. So now he's going to have a Champion of Wits and an Angel. That's fine. We'll see what he gets with the Champion of Wits trigger, though. So uh, if he sequences this right, he'll get the Champion of Wits first. He'll be able to discard a couple more things. and then. Um, so yeah, I mean, Hostage Taker taking the the um, the Angel wouldn't work anyway. So I mean, taking uh, the God Pharaoh's Gift isn't really going to work anyway, considering he'll just have another. And he just threw away some lands. So, I mean, we just get punched in the face here. A little punchy punchy. So, the opponent's back at 20. We're at 14. We kind of swap places there on the life total. We have a new challenger. You ready? You ready, Chris? Let me finish this. I want to finish at least game one here, and then we'll scoop it up. We'll see if he beats us. All right, so we know we're playing that, and we know we're playing this. So we take the angel. Kill is his one dude. So if he blocks here, yeah, take four. So now he needs to get creatures in the graveyard, which it may not be that hard, but these decks actually don't run that many creatures. Most of the time their plan is to take this one angel and just go all the way with it. So um, we might be able to get around something here. I mean, he's got Hostile Desert available, things like that. Um, we'll see what he's got. Maybe this is just a hard cast angel. Boom gate. I ain't gonna. We ain't playing this. All right, all right, Mr. Peltier. On my way, good sir. You are in the sideboard MTG clan, right? We're just having fun. We're just we're just playing around. Um, your sir Rebel. What's the name? What's the name, Peltier? Wild Chris uses Nagate. It's super effective. Um. <laughs> oh, you're funny. What's the name? Challenge me, sir. Challenge me, EB Kilo. Um. You have your deck now. I want to. I want to say that you're you're Sir Rebel, right? Yeah, you're Sir Rebel. Okay. If anyone else would like to, uh... yeah, lamp faded, fainted. Uh, if anyone else would like to join our sideboard MTG clan, let me know while we're uh, online some night, and you can join that. Um, we've got a bunch of the members of the community in here, and you know, from time to time, we'll do testing. If you're part of the clan, I will consider playing you online. If you're not part of the online clan, then I'm not going to consider playing. You. So. Um, yeah, um, that straight up, so. Okay, Chris, good luck to you, sir. I mean, this is a hand. It's not a great hand, but it's a hand. All right, like, so keeping this hand is just, like, horrible. Even though it's, we finally get a hand where we get a land of War Elves and we can't even play it. Um, what's your name, Poopy? Like, what's your online uh, clan name? Or what's your online uh, user tech? Super secret tech? Awesome. Well, I'm going to mulligan, Chris. 
And Mr. Peltier, you're going to have to wait just a second. So it's spelled just like that. Super secret tech. Yeah. You should get an invite. You have to be online for me to be even able to send the invite. So if you're not online right now, get online, then uh, send it back. I even got Ryan from Behind Days Gaming here. Anyway, all right, back to Mr. Peltier. Well, we cannot keep this hand. Good luck to you too, Chris. Um, I mean, I guess we just keep this. Like, I guess that's just about all we can do. We don't really have one drop, so we might as well fade pulls on one and just kind of go from there. Chris. Mountains. Mountains. Just let me know when you're ready. Boop. Mountains and swamps? Alright. Alright. He's got mountains and swamps, everybody. Mountains and swamps, oh my. Well, we've kind of got to go for it. I'm sure it just gets burned out here by, like, a lightning strike or an abrade or something like that. Finally, the moment of truth. Hey, we've got a challenger. Red, black. Here we go. This may be, like, a Chris Peltier red, black vehicles deck, though. Which, I actually expect that this to be Chris Peltier's red, black vehicles. Um, so, yeah. Probably a, probably a good deck here. What do we got? You getting in the red zone? Huh? 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 No red zone. Man. No red zone. Well, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can do anything here. So this is your this is your your red light vehicles deck. Well, awesome. At least you get to show it on stream. Um, I'm kind of becoming a little bit more open to, to playing against you guys um, on stream. Let's put that in the graveyard. Let's put that on top. Um, just because of the simple fact that like, I get stream sniped anyway by people who don't want to talk to me in chat. People that aren't friendly. Um, so why not just play against you guys? You know, there's nothing wrong with it. Mm, I mean, if he had burn, we'd have probably seen it anyway, right? Like, if he had burn, wouldn't he have already, like, killed the Wild Growth Walker before we gained six mana? So I don't think he's got, like, burn, bump this up. I don't think he can deal three damage to it. And deal the other two with Soulscar Mage. I just don't think he can. I mean, even if he can, Soulscar Mage, I mean, he might be able to, like, burn, burn, block, block. But I'm thinking just unlicensed. Yeah. Yeah. Which you probably should have cast in response to the Jade Light Ranger. Um, but okay. All right. Yeah, I, I didn't think you had burn. I, I was expecting unlicensed. Yeah, yeah, you waited way too long on that, man. Like you should have, you should have done it before I gained six life. Um, you could have let the Jade Light Ranger resolve, and then with the Explore trigger on the stack, like the double Explore triggers on the stack, then burn it so that I wouldn't be able to like get the Explorers. But yeah, uh, the Pulper pi Prize structure. It's costing a lot of gold, and the prizes are uncommon cards or better, which is ironic, because it's pauper. Okay, well, trigger on the stack. Zap. Yeah. 
<laughs> Chris is like, I know my punts. You leave me alone. I know I make my own punts. I don't need you guys to point out my punts. Welcome to being live, Mr. Chris. Welcome to being live. Um, the world will see your punts, at, sir. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, I gotta warn you guys, though. If you do play me... Oh, madness. Don't say that, dude. Don't, don't do that. It, your life's not a punt. Your mommy and daddy meant to do it. Sure. I'm sure they meant to do the action that caused it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, remember, I am an arse when playing against um, a people, especially people I know. Some people like it, some people don't. So, it's coming, Chris. It's coming. Oh boy, if you only knew the story. Well, I mean, we're three minutes up on Chris. We've got time. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. I'm just, oh, I'm just right in the ribs, man. Just, mm. You got me. A broad coming in. I still love you, Chris. Much love, bro. Much love. It's okay. It's okay. This deck destroyed me at your local uh, standard showdown this past weekend. Brian Best. Well, you know, I um, I have not been having good luck with it. Um, the deck was kind of just meant to be able to, to play against these red-black decks. Um, doesn't really fare well against most of the control matchups and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. It doesn't bother you. Well, that's good, Chris. That is really good, sir. Um, just be a duck, man. Just be a duck. Well, I mean... So, the proper way to tap here would be leave up some green, right? So that we can pretend that we have Blossoming Defense. Not that that's going to matter, so... You're officially a member of the clan? Did Were you able to accept it when you logged on? You play zombies? Okay. Uh, well, it... If you're talking about the Wildgrove Walker deck, Wildgrove Walker, like, in game one, um, we were... Oh, no! No! And because it's a Winding Constrictor, he gets two plus one one... Or neg one one counters instead of... Dude, you could have swung! I don't know what we're going to do with you, Chris. I don't know. Wait, what was I going to do? Block with Winding Constrictor. Grow, my precious. Grow. How do you like renting, Chris? Um, like from Mana Traders. You enjoying uh, being able to uh, like pull your decks up? brew with your deck. Oh, I don't like this card. I'm just going to go grab this other card. Not having to worry about an online collection or something like that. Are you enjoying being able to um, to play it? Like, I know you said you're new to Magic Online, or at least new to Mana Traders and, and things like that, so um, I would love to hear some um, some first, you know, first-hand feedback on um, does it feel like a game-changer for you? You're going to be able to get in so many more reps, uh, which is going to be absolutely terrific for your for your gameplay too. So, um. that one was down inside the ten yard line. So, uh, hopefully, Mana Traders is being being pretty good. So you do like it? That's awesome! Awesome. Yeah, I, it was a big game changer for me to be able to get Mana Traders and just start playing with any deck. Like, oh, hey, look, I own Goblin Chain Whirlers in paper. I don't want to go spend $20 a piece for them and own them again online. So, like, that was the big one for me. Is, that, is There was this huge stigma of I was a paper magic player, and I still am from time to time. But um, as a paper magic player, I just didn't want to... Um, I didn't want to buy things in paper, and then go have to spend that price again on Magic Online. Um, so, Mana Traders was just like, flat out. It's like, this is a no-brainer. I just kind of have to do this. So, um, yeah. 
right, you need to order a ton of Sarkins Unseen. The card's going to be good, man. Like, I don't know if it's going to be, like, going up. I don't know if it's going to be skyrocketing or anything like that. But pretty sure that, yeah. Thankfully, Chain Whirlers are, are cheaper in paper now. That's cool. Yeah, um, it's one of those cards, kind of like Panharmonicon, that's a four mana do nothing the turn that you cast it. But the amount of like work that it will do after the fact is phenomenal. So to prevent blowouts, I don't know. Looks like we're gonna get blown out anyway. Like, I don't, I don't get what you mean by preventing blowouts because, like, everything dies to a single counter. So getting multiple counters on them, yeah, whatever. Um, might have to grab a play set of unsealing yourself. Yeah, I mean... I think Thraxos is going to get a little bit more play. I think um, Unsealing is going to get some play. Um, yeah. You don't think he, like you don't think he'll kill the Constrictor? That's fine. Constrictor helps us grow as much as it helps us not grow, and now Soul's Card Edge is gone. I don't know. Yeah, probably not the play you would have made, but you kind of got to play into it. Lands! Look at this! Flooding. The flood is real. That's okay, I'm, I'm holding nothing but land over here, too. I've got lands. Just a bunch of lands. More lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're almost there. What do we have available? All right, your go, Mr. Peltier. Your go. Good night, folks. Calling it a night, James. Yeah. Well, remember you. Oh yeah, we we we've probably won here. I'm not going to like swear by it, but we probably won. If he can't deal with this right now, we probably won. Especially considering we got some pretty good size fellers over here in the side in the graveyard. Sure. At least all of your lands work really, really well with the uh, the walking ballista. We'll go for Wild Growth Walker. I think that's I think that's the proper play is the Wild Growth Walker here, and then with the Wild Growth Walker, like from there we'll just start bringing back Jade Light Rangers and such. Uh, and now I'm actually going to do it on my upkeep. Like I I was waiting to see what happened earlier, but on this one I I'm not really that. I'm going to leave a black. So, we'll put that on top. We'll put that on top. We will get some triggers. Gain some life. Um, and we'll put 
put that on bottom. We'll leave that on top. We'll play a land. We will use the green mana. We will look, see if we can find something that costs like, you know, two mana. We'll go any order, play green, black, constrictor. And yeah. We'll just start getting in there. Um, everything's technically too smaller than um, too smaller than it is on board, so he could kill our uh, the scarab god here. He could kill um, yeah, he could kill the scarab god. It's a bad block, Chris. All right, so like if you would like the plan was to get you to kill your walking ballista. And the way do you kill the way to get you to kill your walking ballista was for me to um like to swing with the scarab god, you put the the first striker in front of it and before damage is dealt, you sink four mana into into the walking ballista, make the walking ballista a little bit bigger, put one neg one one counter on this because I have a snake it would have been two neg one one counters then uh, Goblin Chain Whirler would have won in first strike bad blocks sir bad blocks um, I'm telling you there's nothing like playing a carnage tyrant on turn 5 it also feels like play like you played four chain whirlers at the same time Right? Oh my goodness. Just just Sarkin's unsealing into seven mana or seven power dude and Oh, it's so good. It was a major punt there, Chris. Like I was giving you know, a, a huge opportunity there. Um, you know, to pump some mana into this and then make things a lot smaller. Um, but um, you failed. I don't know what the line is here that's better than the one I described, but the line I was thinking of is you put the Goblin Chain Whirler in front of the Scarab God. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, you gotta remember, our... And you still didn't shoot. You let damage happen, man. Alright, so before you let damage happen, actually, like... You can wait. Make sure you have all of your, your stops set up here. Like They can be a pain in the neck, but you at least want the same stops that I have. Um, so this is this. Chris, you're giving the game away, man. You're giving you chances here. You're making some great learning experiences, though. Great learning experiences. All right. Um, so, like, you had a couple other options there. Even before, even before damage was dealt, you could have dealt another damage. You could have pumped the the winding constrictor, um, or sorry, you could have pumped your. Your uh, wall, or your walking ballista, done four points of damage to this dude, um, which was swinging. Um, I mean, you could have killed the snake. There's a ton of things you could have done there, sir. A ton. Um. I just want a Merfolk Branch Walker. I just want more Explorer Triggers. Chance at a land. Ooh. Let's go... Top. Bottom. Top. Draw. Chris, this is this is brutal, sir. This is brutal, brutal. Is 
zero cards in hand. We'll go to game two. Yeah, that was a nail in the coffin there. Uh, it made everything lethal. Uh, he's only got one block. He's got zero cards in hand. Chris, why wouldn't you block at least the biggest dude? I mean, you die anyway, but like blocking the 8-8 means that you die with exaxes versus blocking this way, now you die minus four. I don't know if my math is right, but I think you're at minus four here. Minus four. Okay, Chris. We're, we might have to play some more send a message to the snake, right? That first strike slap in the face with a chain, right? Um, Alright, so snake may or may not be great in this matchup, but it's probably not that bad either. You know what I mean? It's probably not that bad. Um, I think I want my cast downs, uh, because want, there's certain things I want to be able to kill. Um, I definitely want my um, hostage takers in this matchup as much as that seems crazy. Um, Cartouche seems great. So I got like five cards I want to take out. I think uh, Liliana Death's Majesty is one of them. It might be the Constrictor. Like, mm, a bow and arrow. Oh my god. Cade, how many kids you got, man? Because your dad jokes are on point. Um, here's a pun before I go to bed. Well, thank you, sir. Your 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 dad jokes are great. Um, very punny, very punny, sir. What do we take out? Like trim the fat? Just trim the fat? Or is it take out Lana World? When we're not on the play, let's take out Lana World. I think it's probably the weakest card in this matchup. So we'll see what happens. You want to hear a ghost joke? Yes, Stephen. I want to hear a ghost joke. I've already heard it, right? It's a ghost, man. You can't hear it. You can't hear a ghost. That's the spirit. Oh! oh. That one was so bad it hurt. That, that one hurt me just a little bit. Oh! I died a little inside for that joke. Um, this is not really what we want to see against um, a creature deck, but um, I'm going to keep it. I mean, we've got, got some lands. We can do some things. He got that turn one. He's doing it. He ain't playing around. He's like, I'm doing this. Doing it. Good luck, Chris. Boo. I don't know if they're booing you or is that like their answer to the ghost joke, or did they just boo this boo the ghost joke? That's the spirit. It's pretty good. Lincoln is gonna hate me when he gets older. Dad, shut up! Your jokes are horrible, they're horrible. I don't care. I don't care. It goes down as the DM. Open to interpretation. <laughs> it could be a boo. He may be booing. He may be booing. Do we want to keep this or just put it on the bottom? I'm going to put it on the bottom. I don't, I don't think I have like time to play it since our curve's kind of full. And I just want to hit more lands. So since our curve's a little full, I don't think I really have a lot of time to play it. Um, what's your play here, sir? Abroad. Abroad's a good play. I like that better than Chain Whirler because Chain Whirler still means that you can't attack this turn, whereas a Braid means that you get to get amplitude two points of damage and you do want to be as quickly as possible because the Scarab God is coming. All right, anytime you're playing these blue, black, or salt eye decks, the Scarab God is coming. You got six more weeks of the Scarab God. He's coming. All right, so um, it's going to be one of the biggest threats against your deck is the Scarab God. So. Um, I wish this deck had removal in it. I wish this deck had removal. Alright, so... We just want to keep trying to grow. 
getting bigger and bigger and better and better. I want that. It's probably not what I want in this matchup, but I do want it. Like, eventually this will be gone. Eventually. Delt dead. Um. Well, same for vampires, right? Um. Yeah, yeah. The, the deck needs like fatal push and contempt for sure. Man, got all the abrades in this game. We're gonna get beat down by a soul scar mage. It's not bad. I mean, the number of people that have been beat down by a one drop that had prowess. The list is pretty high. All right. I'll let you guys think about which one drop of prowess I'm talking about. But the list is pretty high. Well, he doesn't have that black mana. I think we're safe for at least one more turn from the uh, the almighty and powerful unlicensed disintegration. Where are your artifacts, Chris? Taylor Swift Spear. You got it, James Carr. That's the one drop I was talking about right there. Monastery Swift Spear, man. Why do they call her Taylor Swift Spear? Cause she's just she's breaking records, man. She's just she's nothing but platinum. Um. You also want to know why Walk the Plank can kill flying creatures, right? Lore fail. So what is he holding up? Well, we actually have a priority. So since we have priority, we're going to go ahead and cast this before he gets a chance to do anything about it. Um, and then here... I like just getting out my um, Winding Constrictor. This will give us a little bit more um, more action. And then we can just swing with our, with our um, Hostage Taker at this point. It doesn't matter. So... I'm pretty sure we probably have this game wrapped up, so. Why can't it kill any kind of sea creature? Right, it should have been more like, more like, uh, go for the throat, right? No, not go for the throat. Um. Ah! Uh, not bumping the night either. What was the vampire one? Like, it would kill anything that wasn't a vampire, a werewolf, or a, zo or a zombie? What was that one? Go for the Throat was, you know, artifacts. This is a great card. Matter of fact, I wish Go for the Throat would just get reprinted. Just give me, just give me Go for the Throat. See, right? Just kill all non-blue creatures. I think at some point, Black should have, should have had all of those. Right? Yeah. Explain why I can't kill merfolk. When they swim, they can breathe underwater. But they're sharks. Right? Push the merfolk. Sure. A little light on that now, but, uh, sure. Like, the main reason I played this was I just wanted to get rid of it, so. Non-zombie, werewolf, or... What card was it, though? I cannot remember what card it was. Somebody said it. I'm sure they did. It was, in, it was the first time we were in Innistrad, wasn't it? I'm going to just play Rishkar here. And we're going to say this guy and this guy are just going to get a little bigger. And now we're just going to go to work.
Victim of Night. Ah, uh, yes, that was it. Um, that was a that was a more flavorful card right there. Um, it just it made more sense. Walk the plank just doesn't make sense when you walk the plank. A glory bringer like isn't the plank just a landing strip like a, a runway, right? And he's just gonna step off the boat and go. Well, I didn't want to be here anyway and fly away. Come on, yeah. <sighs> Victim of the night. Okay, I'm. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I was looking for it. I knew somebody had said it, but Duris. Yeah. Well, that's how I feel about your Duris. Now what? I'm just gonna lose it anyway, guys. Now I just have a really good blocker. Destroy non-human creatures. Which one was that? See, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Some people say it don't be like it is, but it do. Mama said they'd be days that way. Or like that. Or like this. Right? Mama said. Is it Frank? What? Z Frank, who is this? What is it? What, what what are we talking about here, Z Frank? Are we talking about like Frank Lepore? Is he doing videos again? Read your last comment. All right. Imagine propelling yourself on a skateboard as fast as you can with a Denny's menu. That is how the seahorse is. <laughs> you guys. What'd you punt on? Oh, Chris, I, I am just waiting on a land uh, to play the Scarab God, man. Yeah, um, you drew way too many lands, bro. It was a good game, though. Um, if nothing else, I, I hope you uh, I hope you learned something from it, and um, you know we can have fun again some other time. So, uh, we're just gonna remove the blocker. You better sack this with that trigger on the stack. You better do. Okay. Ooh. I was gonna say you better. And then we'll just take him to, to almost lethal, and then pretty much anything that swings next turn will, don't, will be lethal. So um, I just don't expect him to be able to draw multiple um, blockers for next turn. So yeah, that's it's game. Look up Z Frank One and have some of the best laughs of your life. Why Rishkar, though? Like, yeah, like, why did you pick Rishkar to, to shoot at? Because, like, I, I think you were supposed to like shoot me in the face or something if you didn't have anything else to do. But yeah, um, if you did learn from the game, then the game was not a loss. Even if you lose the game, if you learn something and it makes you better for the next game, this game was not a loss. This game was not a loss at all. You won something in the end. So remember that. You know, Take away from your punts. We all make punts. Punts are going to be a thing. You can watch Reed Duke, is, who is I consider being one of the best players in Magic. You can watch Reed Duke, and from time to time, he will say, now look, I've, now I've corrupted this whole league because now there's a punt in it. But in all reality, punts are part of Magic. Not everyone's going to make the exact same plays. Not everyone's going to make the right plays every time. So just learn from what you make and go from there. And if you can remember that and you can keep your head up high and don't try to compound your mistakes when you realize they happen, then you're doing great. Okay? Like you're already winning. 
if you're if you don't compound your mistakes and you realize the mistakes that you make and when people tell you that they play perfect magic every game they're wrong okay if someone thinks that they play perfect magic all the time then they're not actually good enough to see the mistakes that they have made so get good at at pulling your like at noticing your mistakes learn oh here's how I could have done that better and and remember that so making the same mistake over and over and over again you know unless it's tapping the wrong land that's probably the one mistake that you're going to repeat uh, over and over and over again but uh, making the same mistakes over and over again are um, you know that's when you're really making mistakes so um, you know if you can learn from it then then you've done something major so absolutely Chris it was great to have you on stream it was good to, to see you uh, get a chance to play your your red black here um, and man uh, we'll we'll catch you next time thanks for thanks for challenging the stream there so either way um, you know that that's definitely how I feel on punts and things of that nature also you know there is that that can see button right there but I do love your, your reduke mentality never give up never surrender um yeah anyway um let's uh let's talk a little bit in chat i don't really have a lot to say about this deck the deck was uh was built for one reason and that was for wild growth walker to gain enough life that you didn't really just die right off the bat to these goblin chain whirler decks um the deck was kind of a, i was expecting a lot of wizards today um so like this was a, a perfect deck to play against the wizards matchups and things like that again wild growth walker is just a brutal brutal card especially when you can you know catch it on like turn four or something like that and then be able to follow up with like i don't know maybe a jade light ranger if your land of war elves is still in existence or something like that you can do some major majorly good things but uh, um chris it was great playing you sir uh, no, I don't want to quit Magic Online yet. I gotta turn my cards in. Either way, guys, um, as far as the deck goes, I don't know how much I like Land of War Elf in the deck. Um, Adventurous Impulse seem really good. I mean, uh, green standard legal ponder. We're gonna have it for about the next two years. So, um, get used to Adventurous Impulse. Um, get used to creature based decks in all colors that include green having some copies of this card. I think the card's really good. So, um, I'm sure we will play each other again in the future, Chris. I am sure we will. Um, until then, though, you know, go crush your f and man. Have some fun, and, uh, you know, just keep doing the thing. Um, Blossoming Defense, absolutely phenomenal card. If you're going to be playing this many hostage takers, you're going to be doing things like that. I think Blossoming Defense is just 100% necessary, and we had multiple cop uh, games tonight where it was the card that either held us in the game much longer, or it was the card that actually won the game for us outright, like uh, against the Esper Control deck. We won outright because of uh, Blossoming Defense. So, uh, just absolutely terrific card. So, um, yeah. Zax Dillo's like, uh, how about just 20 unsealings, right? Um. <laughs> uh. What are you, are you, are you, are you speculating on unsealings going up and you just want to get a bunch of them, right? Just, hey, you know, if you just start buying them, buying them, buying them, you know, you're taking more out of the, out of the market. You know, I don't know. It could be a thing. It could be a thing. Anyway, uh, Winding Constrictor, we'll be losing this. Uh, but before Winding Constrictor, we had Hardened Scales. And then we had Winding Constrictor. So, um, yeah, I mean, um, will we get something with this effect, you know, in, in guilds? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's time to let the 1-1 counter strategy die and, and let some other strategy take this place. Um, however, I've kind of always thought that, you know, the Simic decks were really good at 1-1 counters, and it was always a little bit strange for me to see this on a green-black card. Um, I thought this card should have been green-blue, honestly. I really thought this card should have been green-blue. It just, like, 1-1 counters, for me, was just, like, when I think of 1-1 counter decks, I just think of Simic decks. And, uh, you know, let's let's make our little flyer get bigger and bigger and bigger and that type of thing. So, um, it's pretty cool interactions here. I like the Hadana's Climb. I think Hadana's Climb, you know, turns almost anything into a threat. So, uh, against control decks, it's actually really, really good. Um, the deck had a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of play to it. I uh, had a lot of fun with it tonight. So, I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it. So, um, that's all I've got for tonight. Um, that's it. That's, that's all I've got. That's it. Um, it was fun, and 
I hope you guys had fun. We'll see you next time here on Cyborg MTG. Don't forget to do the like, the subscribe, all of those other good things. If you want to, you know, do the Patreon thing, you can do that. If you would like to, um, you know, um, support the channel, you can do it right here on YouTube Gaming or Patreon or wherever you want. Um, don't forget, like, if you want to play every deck, you don't want to buy an online collection. If there's been this stigma about, I own so many cards in, in paper already, I don't want to buy online. Mana Traders, and the link in the description box will save you some money when you go to sign up. So, that's it. See you guys. Enjoy, and uh, we'll catch you next time here on Cyboard MTG.